Well, there comes a point in every young man's life when he has to say, Shut up and take my money! It's Jurassic Park Day! Hold on to your butts! Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty excited. It's here, it's here, it's here. Jurassic Park Day. So all the new toys for Jurassic World just came out today. So I had to rush down to the store, go make sure I got them for everybody else. And I picked up quite a bit of cool stuff that I'm going to show you guys. I'm so excited I forgot to tell you who I was and what you're watching. Welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano. We're going to open up T-Rex. Now this, I'm actually going to do two things here. I'm going to open up the new toys and we're going to compare them to the old toys because I don't know if you guys noticed, I kind of can't collect some toys maybe. I have some old Jurassic Park toys. But we're going to start off with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Just a, This guy was 20 bucks. You know, just a good size, decent Rex. In fact, I would compare him to this Rex from the uh, 1993 Kenner line. This is a little T-Rex. He was like 13 or 15, maybe, yeah, 15 bucks way back when. And he's like one of my favorite dinosaurs, but he's cool because he has this little thing right here inside. Dino damage! I took really good care of my toys. He still has the stripes. Look at that. Good primo condition. And he's played with. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this guy open here. Ah! I think I got him open. There he is! What? I guess I gotta hold on to his butt. So this is kind of funny actually. The toy inside, it's got this little tail. So see, I literally am holding on to his butt. You see? Oh, I want to rock and roll all night. No? All right, fine. So it looks like this thing clicks in there. Like this? Yes, like this. All right, let's compare him to the other one. So about size, you know, same size, just about the same size. Well, the older one's a little bit smaller. A little bit. He feel the old one's squishier. New one, hard plastic everywhere. He's hard, hard plastic pretty much everywhere. He has tiny little arms. It moves little tiny baby arms. Well, one of them moves. This one moves. Other one does move a little bit, but he's got these weird little. He's a T-Rex. What you gonna do? Way back in the day, all the Jurassic Park toys, you may or may not be able to see it there, but there's a little JP mark right there on his leg. Because if it's not Jurassic Park, it's extinct, is what it used to say on the box. In fact, what does it say on the box this time? It just says, Authentic Jurassic World, and it's got a little JW. Alright, now one thing about this packaging is, it doesn't really tell you a whole lot about other stuff. It tells you to snap his butt into his butt. And then it says also look for like a couple little toys. When I was a kid and collected the original ones, the toys, they all like, you know, there was action figures, there was people, you could reenact scenes from the movie. And this line of toys, not so much. Now, there were other ones that were similar. There's a bigger Deluxe Indominus Rex and also one of them, I, I don't want to mess up the name. I looked like a Demetrodon, but I think it was like a Demetromorphosaurus because they're making up dinosaurs now. Now, I did not buy any of those dinosaurs that were made up, because I, I want the originals. I don't want fake, weird dinosaurs. But let's go over what this guy does real quick. He has a tiny little button right here, a little hump of his back. And uh, you know what's weird? So on the front of him, he's like, you know, the tail, of course, is a different piece. The legs are articulated, so they're a different piece. The original one wasn't. It was all one kind of big rubber that you could stretch and move. This is all hard plastic, so you definitely have these, like, seams and these lines like his jaw you can definitely tell is separated but there's this little chunk in the front of his nose a little line right about here that you can tell is like obviously a separate piece it's got a different paint job to it it's like a matte paint job while the rest was all glossy and it just really doesn't it doesn't fit in it's kind of weird so there's that but when I hit the button he you know he bites I got some of those rare T-Rexes this one's from the first movie, check him out, he's giant. Let's compare him to the new guy, this guy. So this is the big Rex, this is the biggest Rex they sell. Now the Indominus Rex, the like $30, $40 one, is the one that would probably compare to this Rex more, being that this was like a $45, $50 toy way back when. Um, but so, you know, so you can kind of compare their size next to each other, put their feet. Definitely the old one's a bit bigger, a bit longer, his tail's poking me right in the mouth. He's barely fitting on the frame there. So, new ones, a little tiny. Older one though, made noise, made stomping noise, made a cool growl noise when you squished his ribs. He'd yell at you. 
And the new one, he yells at you too, but just not, he doesn't make noise. Now some of the later Rexes that I've got are from Lost World, so we got the uh, Thrasher Rex, which again had one of those tail things, you move the tail back and forth, and the head goes back and forth just like that. Why do they all say no? And one of my favorite ones is the Bull Rex. This guy is huge, he's gigantic, and he's kind of squishy and mouth like weird and deformed because he's actually hollow. You can put action figures inside his mouth. You get, what? what was that? It's actually, this is how I stored them. It's I actually have. Maybe I should get it out through his stomach. What did I, oh my God. Oh, this is really cool. I just seriously like pulled him out of his stomach. Look, in his stomach. He went in the jaws. Eat him. Eat him. You won't. How about that? Eat him sideways. And then he plops out of the stomach. Come on, little guy. I can do it. And that's where babies come from. So next up, I've got the Velociraptor. Now this one is named Velociraptor, and in parentheses, blue? I don't know. Kind of weird, he looks a little greenish gray to me. But I, I guess that's his name. There's like maybe two different raptors. Doesn't say anything about the other one on the bottom. Again, not super great packaging. What happened to the good old days of toys? It says he's got a growling attack and something in French. He does something in French, that's pretty cool. Je suis la jeune fille. Uh, on the back it also says he has clawing action, so he's action packed. Let's drop the box on the floor and let's see what this little guy does. Oh, I hit a button. I don't know what I did. He's kind of in a weird ah, kind of shape like this, I don't know. Ah, go on. All right, so you pull one claw down. Oh, he moved his tail. He makes really cool noises, that's for sure. Paint job, not so best though. There's weird like gold flakes on him. I mean, his mouth doesn't move, his jaw doesn't move at all. Oh, so I keep moving his tail though. So I'm gonna hold his legs very still. Let's see, let's take a look. Oh, so I don't just move the arms. I actually move the tail. Cool, one more time. And then he's got this little dino damage. They don't call it that, but a little patch of bony, creepy flesh. And you hit it, it lights up because that's what happens when you put your fingers into cuts and wounds. They light up, a little light bulb. And he screams, that hurts, let me alone. Now how does this guy compare to the old Velociraptors? Let's take a look. I have pretty much all the other Velociraptors he's screaming over there. Let's start off with the first one. This actually isn't the first one, this is the second one. This came from the Lost World. And he has a little mechanism where you squeeze his legs and his head moves forward. And as his head moves forward, his jaw opens a little bit, which was pretty cool. I thought they looked a little different for raptors, just because they have that headpiece. They have like a weird, weird shaped head, kind, kind, kind of like me. So the head was never great, but I did like how they moved. Tail didn't move so much, but this is the original figure. This is the second, it's just a repaint. And then also with Lost World were two more versions. One was like this little, actually that came way later. This is one from Lost World. He's the original mold. And they called him a Cyclops because basically they painted one of his eyes just white. So he's a Cyclops, that's it, that's all it takes. But you move his tail, see? You move his tail back and forth and his head goes back and forth. And he just basically just tells you no over and over, nope. Not gonna do it, not gonna, not gonna be in the next movie, nope. Now we're on to the Jurassic Park, was this three? Which is also not so best. They were with a series called React Attack, which is strange and weird because you're supposed to like, make them do something. Yeah, you'd push the button, they'd make noise. Now, unfortunately, these don't make noise anymore because they're really old and you ever see those warnings on the thing that say like, if you're gonna leave it for more than six months, take out the battery. Well, I never took out the battery, so sorry guys. Either way, these are them. They don't really do a whole lot. They just kind of sit there and look weird and funky. Has a little button behind his neck, down by his, his weird little his little mohawk, a little cool mohawk guy. I guess the new raptors don't have mohawks, that's probably a good thing. And then we on to the last one. He's another Jurassic Park 3, but he doesn't make any noise. He doesn't do anything super fancy other than you push his head down and his jaws bite. Okay, on to one of my next favorite things that I picked up today. And this was a cool little die cast version of the original Jeep, the old Jeep Wrangler. Uh, and that's all it is. It's literally just like a little mini model die cast car. It doesn't 
do anything fancy. It might roll a little bit with the wheels, but it's really just a model. It's actually going to end up somewhere back in there. And to compare that to the ones from the original line, look at this bad boy. They called it the Bush Devil Tracker way back when, and I don't have all the pieces on it because I don't want to dig them out. Now, if you guys want to see my entire collection, let me know down in the comments below because I've got way more Jurassic Park toys. I even got some that are unboxed. Now, one thing to note is I didn't pick up everything that was there. I definitely was very selective with some of the toys that I got. Like I said earlier, I didn't get any of the fake made-up dinosaurs because there were some weird mishmash dinosaurs like a Stegosaurus Triceratops mix. And they looked like regular figures, but they were just like weird morphed out dinosaurs. And you know what? I'm not all for that. Leave those dinos alone. Um, another thing they had, which is kind of mixing the whole dinosaur thing, but this is, they looked more kitty. You know, like kind of like play school. They were like chunky and colorful and like, you know, for toddlers. Uh, and they were called Hero Mashers. Now, they're exactly what I said they were. They're a bunch of like interchangeable pieces. And they've been doing that with Marvel figures. I think there's even Star Wars figures that are part of the Hero Mashers line. And it's just that. You take an arm and you put it on some other dude. So you can make and mix and match your own dinosaurs. There was a couple other die cast models that was there. There was two different sizes of the Indominus Rex. A larger one that lit up and I think it made noise, but it wasn't working in the store. Uh, as far as the noise goes, you could squeeze something and his mouth would open, you'll see it. Uh, but there was also a smaller one, which was still kind of expensive. He was at about as much as the T-Rex that I got, the $20. But he came with a tiny little ball about this big, that little ball we've all seen in the preview that they roll inside, and a little baby figure, just maybe an inch and a half tall, that sits inside of it and it shoots a missile at him. And then there was another flying one that also came with like a helicopter and a little tiny baby flying guy. But that's it. I don't like the fact that there was only two little persons, two little people from the movie, if they're even from the movie, because they don't look like anyone specific. Whereas the original Jurassic Park toys, you could buy everybody. And I couldn't go to the toy store and get all this stuff without picking up at least something for the kids. Yeah, yeah, those, those are, those are all mine. <laughs> those are not, those, they don't get those. Those are for me. So what I got for the kids was these, and it's a thing called a Brawlosaurus. Told you they were making up weird dinosaurs. But it's like a, it's a weird game, kind of? I think it's gonna be like rock, paper, scissors based on the back. Back here it says that they got, like you pick one of three symbols, you wind up the tail, and then you launch them at each other, and they have like a little weird magnet in their chest. You can maybe kind of see it in there. Either way, that little hole in their chest is something that it's, I think it's gonna determine who wins, whose rock, paper, or scissors on the back. It looks like whose jagged lines, whose claws, or whose ouchy explosions. I don't really know what, how that's gonna work. But I did notice that on these figures, you look kind of close, there's a white sticker on the sides of them, a little white sticker that you peel off, a little peel off, rice peel off. Boop. But for that one, I'm gonna make another video, probably later, maybe tomorrow, this weekend, who knows when, uh, where we actually play that game and we see what the whole Brawlosaurus is like. So stay tuned for more Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, Lost World stuff, and if you wanna see more of my collection, seriously, let me know, cause I kinda wanna dig through it now that I got all this stuff out and maybe show you guys what I got. But I'm not gonna do it unless you tell me to, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like Lost World, Jurassic Park, all this stuff as much as I do. I'm very tired now. I gotta get back to work. There's shoes to be painted. So I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Awesome. I'm standing in Cinderella's shower. Awesome. That's so cool. But it's me.